Hey guys, what's up? It's time for a new process video, so let's get started. And in the meantime, I thought I'll talk about a question that I get asked a lot from you know, young designers and illustrators who are asking me about whether or not they need a website with a portfolio or is it enough you know, using just social media, things like Instagram, Dribble, Behance, um, and maybe that's enough. So, well, my short answer is, yeah, I think you need a website. And yeah, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about <laughs> that today. So, well, what I, th I, think, I think when it comes to, you know, uh, getting clients, and uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to create uh, trust. You, you want to make the clients feel like they can trust you and they, they think you might be a good fit for their needs. And I think uh, a website is just the perfect way to communicate and give as much information as you can about you and what you do. And I just think that, you know, a few short sentences of, um, you know, the description on Instagram, on your profile, um, is, it's not enough. And I think a lot of clients just want to know you a little bit more, they want to know what you do, how you do it, what's your specialty. Um, and they want to feel like they can trust you again. So um, I think a website is perfect for that and you should have one, if, especially if you're a freelancer, but even if you're looking for a job, uh, you know, in a studio, uh, I think a website, uh, like a full-time job in a studio, I think a website can be helpful as well. Um, and another point I want to uh, mention here is I think, you know, a lot of websites that I see, a lot of um, portfolio websites of, you know, designers and illustrators uh, kind of look the same. They all have a homepage with a grid and works, you know, different projects, different illustrations and designs. And, and that's it. That's like the whole homepage. Uh, and if you want to get more information about them, you need to click through another page for the about section or like the contact section. Uh, to know more about them and I think that's that's kind of asking too much from the client side and I just think that well and I think like 90% of all you know designers and illustrators have this type of websites going on so I think it's a mistake and you should try and deliver as much information as you can in your homepage so if I'm a new client I've seen your work on Instagram I'll click through and go to your, web, your website and I'll get, I'm just scrolling down the homepage and I'm getting, you know, a lot of information, things like who you are, what you do best, what kind of clients do you work with, um, what kind of projects are you like really good at and what's your process like? Is it complex? Is it uh, simple? Is it fast? Um, what are the stages, the different stages, you know, the typical projects that you do? All these things will help you create uh, trust and I think the clients will feel much more comfortable, you know, reaching out to you and asking for you to work with them. So uh, yeah, I just think, you know, it's, it's like such a common mistake. It's, it's worth uh, mentioning and I get this question a lot. So uh, I thought I'll talk about that today. Anyway, I made the process video this time uh, slower because you guys ask me uh, to sl <laughs> slow things down a little so that you can watch it better and understand it better. So. Um, I'm gonna leave you with the rest of the process video and catch you back later. Enjoy!
Okay, and that's it. That's the final illustration right here. And well, I actually really like the black and white version as well. So I'm, I might be using this one as a print for t-shirts and uh, and <laughs> for t-shirts. Well, <laughs> just for t-shirts. Uh, so I'll probably have it in my shop soon. Uh, if you have any questions about the process or anything else, just leave a comment below and I try to get back to you. Uh, this is it for today. See you next time. Bye.